Hello the there neighborinos. Okay, here once again to give you a little bit of VR news and stuff. Okay, so I just got a VR headset in the mail. One of the a Windows Mixed Reality headset is, is the most apt name for it. But let's check out the options, shall we? Okay, so first things first, there is the option of building it yourself. Uh, so far, for, all, for the few pieces I've gotten, processor, motherboard, fan, and the memory, that's going to run me $416 just between those. And then I haven't even factored in the cost of video and sound cards, cases, power, uh, let's see, solid state versus hard disk drives. Um, I got two connections for that though, so I'd be able to get one of each. I highly doubt I'd actually get a, a disk writer, because honestly, they're 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 useless at this point, at least for me. Next up, we have the option of getting one that is pre-made. This one is sitting at around $2,100. Of course, there's a couple that you could end up getting that is that are pre-made. Not gaming laptops necessarily, but uh, it, it would be... There are a few different options available. Uh, like for starters... Well, because of the requirements necessary, you're, you're going to want to go for something a little bit more on the, a little bit more, well, it, it, it's going to be, long story short, it's going to be expensive. So let's see, consumer, do, 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 do. We are ready. Yes. CPU speed. Three point one to four. Touch screen. You don't really care about. Optical drive. Well, those are optional if you're going for a, a more VR engaged setup. Now, let's apply all those settings. And we are down to... Yeah. We're down to... Actually, those are... As far as com pre-made computers go, those, those are fairly cost-effective. So let's see what we have here, shall we? Seven pages at 36 per page. That means there are at least 217 different options here. Now let's let's sort low to high. And next up we have actually let, let's cut this down to new. Because you don't want to get used stuff and have it not work for you. Okay, so these are set up starting at $760. Again, as far as pre-made computers go that are VR ready, that is, well, long story short, it is reasonable. Like, more than reasonable, it's extremely affordable. Because you've also got to factor in the cost of the headset, which is going to run you easily at least $400 on its own. See? That first one, just a headset alone, that is going to run you $500.
Divide Pro sitting at 800. Oculus Sensor for 60. But of course, this one that I was actually checking out while you're gone was the Oculus Setup. Um, this one, for the full setup, it would run you $562. But of course, the one I the one I just got in the mail was the Acer Mixed Reality. That one ran me about three hundred, yeah, three hundred dollars for the headset and the controllers. And as, as with all things, if if you're going for a mixed reality or electronics in general, you want to stick with new just because there's that sense of wondering whether or not it'll still work when you when it comes in. Does that make sense? Then of course you still have the ah, no, no, no. PlayStation VR. Okay, so this one has Borderlands 2 and Beat Saber. One of my two of my favorite games when it comes to VR. This bundle right here comes at a whopping 325. And then when you add in the cost of the system, which is on its head probably around $300. This one is the most cost effective choice you could probably get. Compared to the, co the computer alone, which was going to run you about six, six, seven hundred dollars for the computer alone. So it all comes down to cost, cost and value. So I think I've rambled on enough at this point, though. So, if you guys like it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. And, as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this VR news. Ta-ta for now.